Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Ernie Nicollet. I'm the uh, manager of agronomic services for North Central Alberta. And today's topic is short and long-term rotations. And guys wonder why would a person pick a short-term rotation? Well, I think there's a couple reasons for that. First reason is uh, profitability looking in the short term. Second of all, it's, it, it might make things a little simpler with two crops. You don't need a lot of specialized equipment. You're not dealing with a lot of crops. But saying simplified doesn't mean really easier. You've got to be scouting a lot more because things change quickly, particularly diseases and shifts in populations and pests. So you have to address those quickly. So you might have to do a little bit more scouting. With a long-term rotation, you're, you've got a number of crops, so uh, your management has to be kicked up a little bit because you're dealing with more crops, more specialized equipment maybe. But there is a benefit of a long-term yield bump from that. And as an agronomist, I like a long-term rotation because uh, it breaks up disease cycles. An example is like in canola. If you have a two-year break from canola, you can, uh, you can reduce your club root population, spore population down. It increases nutrient and fertility within those fields. And finally, you'll realize higher crop returns over an extended period of time. So if there's any takeaways from it, the short term, your scouting's got to go up. And if you're into a longer term rotation, your management also has to be stepped up a little bit to handle all the different crops.